Hello everyone, this is Lena Kears from Inkspired Creations. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I'm very happy that you stopped by to check out my video today. Stampin' Up! came out with a wonderful special that will be available for you to buy and I was already allowed to buy it because I'm a demonstrator but you get to buy it from November 3rd until January 4th. Now the good news is that part of this will carry over into the new catalog, the June, the January to June mini catalog. And that's the, the bundle here, the, the stamp set and the dice. But just until January 4th, they have included the Christmas set, curvy Christmas stamp set and this designer series paper. So, um, just the bundle is fifty-five seventy-five. You can't just buy these. You ha they can be an add-on to the bundle for the special. So the whole thing. Let me see. Oh, the whole thing is ninety-six dollars. Sorry about that. So um, I've got a closer-up look for you. Here, this is the Christmas stamp set. And today we'll be using the trees and um, the, the words. And then this is the regular stamp set. And these are the dies. I'm holding this one because that's the one that I just finished using to cut the hill. So, oh, and the paper. I'll give you a close-up of the paper as well. So this is one side of the paper. There are 48 six by six pieces. And this is the back side. So some of them are, are especially kind of Christmassy, but the rest of them you can use all year long. Okay, so just the Christmas one is available to January 4th, but the bundle itself is available until June of next year. Now, this is the first card that I made with this set, and I thought, you know, I'm going to share this card and share the flyer and let you know about this special. So, these are the pieces that I used to make the card. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, just a regular card base. This is a piece of that designer series paper. And that is five inches by three and three quarters, so that I left a nice edge of this Blackberry Bliss paper because I really like this color, especially for Christmas. Then this is the Seaside Spray, and that is four and three quarters by three and a half. And then this was the white piece, and it was about the same size, I think, as this one, a little bit bigger, but. I'm giving it some leeway so that um, if the stamping is not exactly on the curve the way that I think it should be, then I've got a little bit of wiggle room. So this is the piece I plan to be using. And this is the piece that got cut off. Now you could easily use this piece on another card. So let's start making this card. Oh, we'll start with this one. And... We'll use some garden green ink because this is quite long. Ink that up. And I really don't want all this extra green here. So I'll just wipe that off with my chamois. And just want to check out the curve. So I start in the right place. Okay, something like that. Okay, because this is quite long, I want to make sure that I'm pressing it down all the way along. There we go. Beautiful. Now, because it's kind of green here, I don't really want too much of the green hill to be showing along here because, after all, I'm saying it's a snowy hill. So that's why I gave myself some wiggle room here so I can cover that up just a wee bit. 
and I'll just trim off this little edge that is still showing. Okay, let's do that. So we use this nice stamp and seal, and I want to make sure that it's going to stick right where the hill is. And along the bottom here. Maybe a wee bit higher. This stuff is really sticky. There we go. And now I can just trim off what I don't need. There. And flip it over to the back. And the white is a little bit longer than the seaside spray. So we we'll just trim that off too. There we go. Okay, now on this first card, I used May Your Days Be Merry and Bright. And what did I do with the other words? Oh, you're there. And I thought I would use thinking of you at Christmas. So you can kind of, because these are photopolymer, you can kind of wiggle them around so that you get them on the curve the way you want them. And then you can just pick it up from there, ink it up, and stamp. So we'll do this, the words with the Blackberry Bliss. And we'll do it right here. Beautiful. Now there's also this cute little bow that comes with the set. So I thought, let's just stamp that down in the corner there. Then I'm going to um, just, on this card, I stamped the snowflakes in white, but as they dried, they got a little bit not so vibrant. So I'm going to try embossing them this time. So you'll have to bear with me while I use the heat tool to dry that, but okay. We use Versamark, and I'm just going to stamp a bunch of snowflakes. Now they really don't show up so well with just the ink, but they'll show up when I get the powder on there, and especially after I heat them. And then if you want, still want more, you can go back in and do a couple more. This is just to give the impression of snow. I know it's uh, if it's snowing, you probably have a sky full of snowflakes, but Bring in my white. There we go. They already look pretty nice. But when I heat them, then they won't smudge. So just um, forgive the noise, please. I'll just be a minute. show you what's happening as I emboss. You see them turning shiny. And that's the special thing about embossing. You can see it happen. Isn't that cool? So that's the difference. See how much much more vibrant these are than just the stamped ones. So I think that's a, that was a good thing to do. Okay, now I'm going to layer it onto the cards. I think we're done with this ink. I've got some green on my thumb. 
There we go. Okay, we'll layer it on this little piece of trees on the crumb cake. And then we'll layer this onto the blackberry bliss. And there you have it, thinking of you at Christmas. Or may your days be merry and bright. And then there's a bunch of other little stamps that you can use. You can do stars going down the hill or um, you see this one here. You could do that even above the hill. You can use these nice little branches. I've seen um, a sample of a card where they did this um, evergreen bow, like stamped it multiple times around the hill. That looked really pretty too. I'll be making that one sometime too. Okay, that's it for tonight. I hope you enjoy my cards and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.